For the longest time, there was an elite few who had the privilege of having intro video snaps within Batocera. They included RPI-1, RPI-2, RPI-3, Audro XU4, Audro N2 and N2 Plus, Cadas Vim3, and Rock Pro 64 users. With the release of Batocera 31, however, PC and Raspberry Pi 4 users have finally been invited to the Video Splash Club. Many of us now finally have a more retro console experience. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to find and install some of the best Splash videos that you can find on the internet for Batocera. You will also learn some great tips to get the most of these video snaps. Let's do it! everyone and welcome to Batocera Nation. So today we're going to cover splash intro videos and there are three different scenarios that people want. Okay, Number one, you don't want no video. You don't like them and so you want to get rid of it all together. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. Scenario number two, you want to replace the default video that comes with Batocera 31 with one of your own and you only want one video to show up and only yours. Okay, I'm also going to teach you how to do that. And the last and final scenario is you want a collection of random videos to play at the intro, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do that as well, okay? So first things first, let's go ahead and go to the about to set a wiki page for Splash Boot videos, okay? Turns out we're not the first ones to get the Splash videos. We got all these people here who had it before us, okay? It's only with about to set a 31 that Pi 4 and PC users finally get the Splash Boot videos, okay? And it tells us where to put them right here. Uh, and you're gonna have multiple ones, and of course, it will randomly pick them as well. Okay, uh, this will tell you this tells you if you want to get rid of the sound, you just want to see the video without the sound, or you want to get rid of it all together where you don't see nothing at all. Okay, you can also change the splash duration. So, let's say you have a video, it's about a minute and a half, and you just only want to show the first 42 seconds, you can also change that. Any value between 0 and 90 seconds, you can change the length. I'm going to show you how to do that as well. All right? Okay. So here's the website. I'm about to set up.org, videos boot. You have a collection of, of different videos, a whole bunch of them. And they're made by the same person, Snakerville. Okay? He's, I think he's a Frenchman. Uh, and he's done a tremendous job with these videos. If you are watching this, merci beaucoup. Thank you so much for these videos. These are awesome videos. So on the website, you can even check them out ahead of time to see how they look like. Now I'll do another one. Okay, so again, you can look at them before you download them, and then when you're ready to download, just go ahead and click on one, right click on it, and then save link as, okay? And then you can save that to your hard drive, all right? Again, I would say stick with no more than five, because there is a limit. Uh, according to this, uh, some of the partitions can be limited to hundreds of megabytes, or maybe less than one gigabyte. So, you know, don't go crazy with them because you might mess up in terms of the size that your partition might overload it, okay? So I would say just pick, pick about five and no more than five or so, okay? All right, so there's a video. I will be providing a link in my video description. 
You're also going to need this piece of software, now, especially if you want to get rid of the videos or you want to have, uh, you want to replace the main video with one of your own, okay? So go ahead and download this right here, okay? Now I've got it already downloaded, all right? Now before we install it, I want you to go ahead and boot up your bot to set a system uh, because we need some numbers from there, okay? So go ahead and boot up your bot to set a system. And I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we have loaded up Batocera, and I want you to press either the space bar on your keyboard or the start button on your gamepad, okay? And now let's go into network settings right here. Make sure you are on the network, on your internet, all right? Select that. See where it says IP address? I want you to copy down a piece of paper, okay? For every computer, it's going to be a little bit different, so make sure you copy that number down, because that number will be very important later on, okay? Let's get back out of this. All right, let's go back to our computer. Okay, so we're back in a Windows desktop. Let's go ahead and install that software. And go with typical. I'll go with Commander Style Interface, okay? And install. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and finish. Okay. So this is what you see for the first time. Okay. It's asking for the host name. Those numbers I told you about when you're about to set a system, go ahead and type those numbers. So in my case, every computer is different. In fact, every network is different. Okay. So go ahead and type those numbers. Leave that for 22. Username. It's going to be the same for everybody. Okay. For, so for username, pick root for the password it's Linux okay save it save the password it makes it easier all right go ahead and log in yes all right so there I am this is my bot to set a system I can copy stuff and move things around all right Okay, so let's go ahead and load up this file right here. All right, about to set a com file right here. All right. Here it is, okay? Okay, so let's say you don't want the splash video at all. So get rid of that pound sign, and then just put zero here, okay? Or let's say you want the video, but you don't want the sound. Do that, put a zero there, and do that. Okay, so that's for yes, you want the video, but you don't want the sound. Okay, if you want both, you keep it like that. Now, if you don't want any of them, put zero, zero. Okay, and of course, you have to save it. All right, but I want it, so I'm gonna leave it there. And here, you control the length of the, of the splash video. Okay, get rid of the pound, and you can put here. Instead of auto, you can put here a number, right? 45 seconds, 40 seconds, 30 seconds, or 90 seconds, okay? Auto will just play the whole the whole video, all right? So we're going to leave it as audio for the time being. Or just leave it the way it was before. That's fine, okay? Save it. Now, to make it stick, okay, you got to do something else. You got to go over here. It looks like a prompt sign, okay? Open terminal, click on that. Yeah, just say yes. Okay, so this is like a prompt, right? It looks like a DOS. You gotta type this command, Batocera, save, overlay. You hit execute, success, close it, okay? So again, anytime you make any changes here, uh, make sure that after you save it, after you save it, right, and you close it out, that you do that command, okay? Now then, let's suppose you have your own video, okay? And you only want to show one video, and you want to show yours. You don't want to see the default video from Battle Set of 31. Okay, to do that, um, so I'm going to go back up here, okay? I've got my video right here, okay? 
right there. I'm going to go ahead and copy that one. Where do I copy? Well, let's go back over here. Let's go back over here to the root directory. Go to USR folder. And then go into share. And then go into about to set a folder. And then you'll see splash. Okay. So let's go ahead and paste it right there. Yes. Okay, now go ahead and delete this one, which is the default video. Delete it. Yeah. And then go ahead and rename this one to Splash. Splash. Okay. And now to make it permanent, go ahead and go to the terminal console right here and do the same thing. Bato Seta. Save. Overlay. Execute. It's done. Okay. So now every time it loads up, it's going to load up your particular video. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's go to scenario number three, where you want a collection of random videos. Okay. Uh, I've got them right here. Okay. They're right there. So this is my Windows desktop. Let's go back up here. Let's go up. And let's go up. And use the data splash okay and here's what you put it oh by the way if you don't want a video and you just want a splash screen you can also do that as well uh, put splash dot png okay and it'll show up the picture instead of a video okay go ahead and delete that all right so just go ahead and select these right here and just Drag it over here. Yes. Okay, well, fast forward all this. Okay, so we are done. We've got four videos that are copied. Again, try to keep between four and five, all right? So now, every time the button setter will load up, it's going to load up one of these random videos, okay? And you can change them later on if you want to, delete them. What are you going to do? It's up to you in terms of what you want to do. Okay, let's go ahead and close this out. Yes, it's done. Now, for you RetroPie users, okay, on my downloads page on my website, I'm also going to include some extra files, okay, for you, okay. Uh, in fact, let me share with you what I found that you can also use in case, let's say, you don't want the button set up, splash videos. You also have this option right here. And let me just go ahead and show you a few of them, okay? So you can see what's also available to you.
finally, I've also created three splash videos for the occasion. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you those. Okay, so there you have it. And again, you'll find these at our website, our download section, okay? And if you don't download my particular videos, I won't cry. You won't hurt my feelings. <laughs> Not at all, okay? It'll be all right. It'll be all right.